Hey everybody, Big Daddy Biggs here, ProductReviewDude.com, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to tell you about something that I'm extremely excited about that happened this week. Uh, I'm not excited about the circumstances around it, uh, but but those circumstances are now gone, and they've been gone for you know a good 24 to 36 hours. I I lost a lot of weight this week. I'm not going to tell you how much I lost yet. You're going to have to come back Sunday when I do my official weigh-in because I'm not going to jinx this whole thing. I may be jinxing it by, by just talking about it. But what happened to me is I lost a lot of weight because my kids and my wife and me all at the same time got hit with this uh, just attack on our, on our bodies. Uh, stomach bug. And I don't want to get... In, too in detail. Everybody knows what a stomach bug is. Everybody knows the exact ways that you lose weight with a stomach bug and it's through um, depletion of body fluids and, and that's not a positive at all, not by any means, but it is very, very encouraging when you step up on the scale after you've gone through the, the complete process of the, the stomach bug, it's run its course and it's out of your body. <laughs> When you step up on that scale and you're showing a 5, 10, or 15 pound weight loss over the course of a 24 to 36 hour period, it's pretty doggone exciting when you're already dieting anyway uh, and, and you're trying to lose weight and then it's like, oh, I just lost, I just lost a leg or something like that. So understand my excitement and my, my, uh, unwillingness to give that weight loss back in other words to not be able to maintain it so I am trying this week and this is something else that I'm really excited about because I made the decision to do this and I was able to make this decision and I believe I'm gonna I'm gonna be successful with this I made the decision that I'm gonna do a cleanse or a, a 48 hour fast to help maintain the weight loss. Now, it, I know it, it sounds like, well, this could be kind of, oh, a risky business or something, and it may be, it, it may well be. Um, but here's here's what I'm doing. Let's see if you can read that. It's pineapple juice. I get this, I'm doing a pineapple juice cleanse for the next 48, well, not for the next 48 hours, because I'm already about 15 hours into it, and I'm not hungry. That's the crazy thing. Because before I started this plant-based diet, before I started resetting my body and breaking the addictions that the factory farms have put on everybody in this country with the chemicals that they pump into the animals, the chemicals that they pump into the processed foods that they have, they have made you addicted to their food. And this is why you are fat and lazy. It's not your fault. It is not your fault. It is the fault of the corporations that are creating your food. And we need to break our addiction to that. That's, that's my soapbox for now. But this is what's going on in this country, in the world today, because for whatever reason, it's going on. It is going on. And you need to break your addiction to all the processed foods because those chemicals are put in there for a very specific reason, I believe. You can call me crazy if you want to. Drop down in the comments say, uh, Big Daddy Biggs, you're nuts. I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. I believe that's what's going on, and I believe that we have to break that addiction. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to break that addiction. I'm trying to heal my body, and I believe that I have actually broken that addiction unknowing to me because I am 15 hours into a fast, and usually by this point in any fast I've ever done in the past, I was nearly in tears. I was so hungry. It's not happening that way this time. It's not. I'm, I'm, being, I'm being completely upfront and honest about this. I am not hungry. I got my juice. I'm doing uh, the pineapple juice and I'm doing uh, baking soda water in between uh, you know when, when I'm not hungry when I'm in between bottles. These bottles are two dollars and twenty five cents at my local Dollar General store. Uh, that's one quart bottle. So I'm gonna maintain I'm gonna try my best to maintain the weight loss I've had but also rehydrate my body from the sickness through this cleanse. Y'all pray for me, okay? I'd appreciate it. 
and come back Sunday and we're going to see and I'll, I'll be completely forthright with you if I've been able to maintain my weight loss if I've actually not been able to maintain my weight loss and if I've lost extra or I'll, I'll tell you how much extra I lost through this uh, through doing adding this to this week only um, and if I've if I've gone backwards I'll tell you how many pounds I went backwards you know where my weight loss actually was so I'll be I'll be forthright with you and I'll also post a, uh, a picture of the scale like I normally do but y'all listen Dr. John McDougall, I, I, I don't, I, I don't recommend anybody else's information because all the information that I've seen out there, all the other uh, health and wellness programs that I've seen, they always take out certain things that our our body really needs. I'm telling you, if you'll if you'll study his system, if you'll get the book, just get the book, the starch starch solution. Uh, that was the book I was attracted to because I really like potatoes, I like corn, and I thought, well, that's something I can do. And there's way more to it than just just potatoes and corn. So get the book and check it out. Uh, there's a, there's going to be a link in the description, or there is a link in the description, and start start getting the information for yourself. You see what I'm doing, and I haven't been able to lose weight. I said it over and over again. I could not lose weight. I, my body had gotten to a point, whether it be my age or the the all the chemicals that I had put in it from all the processed food that I've eaten over the years, and I've eaten a lot of it. I, I'd love to see I'd love to see the buckets of chemicals I've actually ingested over the years. No, I wouldn't. No, it would probably scare me to death. But you can fix your body. Hippocrates himself said, "Let your food." Be your medicine. And I think the man knew what he was talking about because now science and, and research is finding out and they don't like what they're finding. A lot of them don't like what they're finding is that a plant-based diet fixes a whole lot of stuff. Now you can call me a conspiracy theorist or not. No, I'm not going to go there. I'll, I'll let you figure out the, the rest of my thought process on that. But there's reasons why we don't have cures, known cures, for certain diseases. I believe that with all my heart. I think you know that. So let's, let's start focusing. Let's start doing what God gave us the ability to do. God did not put you on this planet to maintain your fat laziness. That's not your fault. That comes from corporations that are creating your food that doesn't come from him and he gave you a way to heal your body and I believe it's through food I believe it's through eating the right food not just eating it from time making it a lifestyle you can't just eat it here and there and say oh I'm eating healthy uh, my, my grandpa did that of course he, he lived to be 92 but he would eat you know ham and pork chops and, but he'd have it with cabbage and collard greens and, and all that stuff but you you, you, you may you... look just get the book I'm sorry I'm, I'm rambling I don't mean to ramble but I am and uh, check back check back we're going to see how this works out on Sunday probably won't do a video I'll probably just write a blog and uh, come back and look at it get the book this week don't wait it, it doesn't cost that much and you will thank me, I promise you. If you get Dr. John McDougall's book and you start doing research on him and finding out what he's all about, you're gonna find you're gonna come back and you're gonna thank me. You're gonna thank me. I love you. God loves you. He doesn't want you to maintain, he wants you to excel. And even in your even in your health, he wants you to excel. And he gave you the way to do it. You just, we just have to seek him and search him out in his creation to find out how what he gave us to eat can heal our bodies. Y'all have a good day. God bless you. Bye-bye.